Welcome once again to a very wet, wild and windy glorious Peak District. More specifically Hen Cloud. In the distance there, not that you can see it, is well the roaches. But the cloud is just skimming the top. So if we look around you can see it is quite windy and quite wild today. Um, we parked the cars down at Gradback, at the car park down there. We've walked up through the valley here and then down and then straight up the southern side or southern edge of uh, Hen Cloud. Quite a short and sharp ascent but worth it. So I thought I would quickly whip the camera out now and do a quick intro while the rain seems to have disappeared for a while over in that sort of direction. You can probably see it. So we'll see how much filming we can get done today. We're going to walk over the roaches and then over towards Lud's Church. So we've descended off Hen Cloud and climbed back up to the base of the roaches now, to the base of the crags, which is extremely popular with climbers. Not today, perhaps. Although, having said that, I did just hear some people up here. So we're taking the lower path and we're going to work our way up onto the top in a second. And here we are, back on the top. That's always a good sign when the cotton grass starts to grow. Just wish this rain would go. So here we are, the iconic view of the roaches. In the distance just there, you've got the Tittersworth Reservoir. And then, if I pan around all the way back around this way, you got Andy and uh, Doxy Pool, which is uh, rumoured to be bottomless, but uh, I can't see it, can you? <laughs> we should come back in uh, summer when the weather's a little bit better and jump in <laughs> and see how deep it really is. So thankfully the rain has moved away for a little while, although it does look like in the valley that there is some rain building but for now we'll enjoy it while it lasts the main thing anyway was to get the iconic view of the roaches on video really I suppose the main point of the day is to come out and have a good day but as far as the video goes you've got to get that view on really it really does look like it's been dropped here from a distant planet I said it in the previous video when we were at Crom Hill and Parkhouse Hill that uh, those two hills in the Upper Dove Valley, the Roaches, Hang Cloud and Ramshaw Rocks over there, just look alien. It's windy now. We're at the top of the Roaches. doing its business. So we're just leaving the top of the roaches now. The trig's back up there. It really is cold today. The temperature gauge on the car on my way over the tops uh, through Monash said that it was five degrees. So I dare say with the wind chill, it's gonna be a lot lower than that. Really cold on the hands today time in a minute I think. So we're going to head off the roaches now down to Roach End, work our way around and down to Lutz Church, which I'm guessing is going to be Quagmire. 
right in the distance there. I just thought I'd use this opportunity now while we're being sheltered by that huge bit of grit stone. You've got Shuttling's low. Yeah, go. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I think this was Alice in Wonderland. I wonder what she's been drinking. Looks a little bit worse for wear today. So we just passed Roach End, crossed over the road, we saw Alice in Wonderland and the, the white rabbit, looking worse for wear. We're gonna head a little bit further along and then loop back round in the forest and head to Ludd's Church. So we just had another chance meeting. Just met up with Dale. You'll have seen him on video a moment ago. Uh, we've been following each other on Twitter for a good few years now. And I was in a world of my own, videoing myself walking, or videoing the floor anyway. And uh, there he was. Welcome to the very impressive Lud's Church. I'm sure every time I come these uh, huge walls get higher, you know. So it's a really fascinating place and you wouldn't want to be walking through the woods at night and come across this drop, because it is a rather big drop. So I was expecting it to be quite muddy down here today, but it's not too bad. I think the worst of it is when you get to the bottom further around. So, We'll soon see. But um, this thing has been used for many things over the years. It's got lots of myths and legends about it, which I won't divulge. I'll let you go and Google it. Mainly because I don't want to give any inaccuracies in the commentary, but um, it's absolutely stunning. You would not want to fall into that. Looks like something Willy Wonka has left behind. It's time to leave. Up this way. So I'd highly recommend checking out the history of this place. Uh, it's quite mysterious um, and it's really worth a look, it really is. And it's not too far from where we've parked the cars down at Gradback. I think you probably get here within half an hour to 45 minutes and the walk isn't too hard going. So the kids would love this. Time to move on. So if you approach from the bottom path, as you're walking through the forest, you can't miss it. Here's the entrance, just here. Up and over and down. But we're gonna head this way now. I'm just heading down the rather steep and slippery hill towards the River Dane in the valley there. Almost there. I'm taking baby steps down because of the hidden tree roots. Treacherous.
Not that we can get across there, but that side of the river looks beautiful. All the bluebells out in force. You've got the River Dane coming out here. And we're going to head over the bridge in the distance there. Andy's just looking at the sign. Okay, so we've arrived back at the car park now. All in all, it was 10 miles in around about five and a half hours. What I'll do is, I've been neglecting to say this, but what I will do is, in the description, I'll add all the links I've mentioned today. I'll add a link to visit the route map of today's video as well. And when I eventually get around to writing a blog post, I think I'm about maybe three months and possibly about 30 or so videos behind at the moment but I will get around to writing them and then that link will appear in the description as well but the route map will be linked below when this video goes live so as is customary we need to go and find coffee we need to find cake and I think the best place to do that would be up over the hill and far away at flash bar stores so time to get back in the car and roll that way Okay, so coffee and cake was consumed at the flash bar stores, but I thought I would sign off in the car because it's really blustery outside. I don't even think the Mini Muff could uh, handle this. Link in the description for the Mini Muff, by the way. It's been quite good, actually. You can still hear a little bit of wind noise, but not too much. It's vastly reduced because if I didn't have it on, there would be no hearing me whatsoever. So it's been vital. Right, so as always, thanks for watching, thanks for commenting, liking, everything that goes with it, and I will see you next time for another walk in the glorious Peak District. Bye for now. Welcome back. Just a quick one. You may have noticed, but the song at the start and during the video was a remix of Mark Knopfler's Local Hero slash Going Home, and the reason that has been included is because a few nights ago I went to see Mark Knopfler in uh, Sheffield and it was a really great night. I think that was the, like the fourth time that I've seen Mark Knopfler. I'm a huge fan. I would definitely say he's my uh, guitar hero anyway and songwriting hero. That was a quick clip from the other night. I didn't record too much. I only recorded a snippet of that one song because it's my favourite. But the last time I went to see him, as you are seeing now, I got to shake the hand of the great man himself. I got a little bit sidetracked there. Anyway, look at the weather now. Glorious sunshine. It's been throwing it down all day, but isn't that just the way? On the way home, the clouds broke, blue skies, sun came out. Typical. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye for now. Welcome, once again, to a very wet, wild, glorious peak district. Welcome to the very impressive Lutz Church. Thank you.